Uh, we look forward to a big game today in Milwaukee Brewers at beautiful Miller Park trying to get a split against the Dodgers. Milwaukee has a very hard schedule. Three back of St. Louis in the NL Central. So they got a little work to do. Um, they've had some trouble offensively. We all know about the hater trade. Here's Matt Arnold. He's the VP and he's the general manager of the team. Always a pleasure. Give him credit for coming on too when the Brewers haven't been playing well. A lot of guys don't do that. And Matt said, hey, you know what? Let's go. So here he is. As we say hello, Matt, it's a pleasure. Um, listen, you know, you hung in there in St. Louis. You could have won too easy. You've played hard against the Dodgers. Give me a little summation here where you think your ball club is at 62 and 54, you know, basically two-thirds through the season. Let me hear your thoughts. Go ahead. Yeah, Chris, thanks for having me, first of all. And, and, and yeah, we, we feel like we're in a really good spot. Obviously, we've played some tough games the last week or so and some really tight games, even last night, losing uh, two to one. But, you know, we, we feel really good about this group. We feel good about our clubhouse. Uh, we've gone through a little bit of a rough patch here, but we think we're going to be able to compete here deep into the season. All right. Did you think there would be? I know there were some uh, you know, raised eyebrows when you traded Hater. Uh, did you or Dave, David Stearns, did you, were you surprised by that? Did you talk to the ball club? How about getting through that trade there a couple of weeks ago with a popular lefty closer? Let me get your thoughts on that. Yeah, absolutely. I think any time you talk about somebody, like, when you're talking about trading somebody like Josh Hader, you know there's going to be uh, thoughts from, from our clubhouse externally. And so we talked a lot about that, absolutely, with our ownership group. Um, and we, we factored all those in, and ultimately we, we felt like it was the right baseball decision. We feel like we got a really good haul back uh, of talent, uh, both at the major league level and at the minor league level. Uh, and it's also a vote of confidence for the guys we have here. We feel like our bullpen is a real strength, and it's anchored by somebody like Devin Williams. Uh, the players we have coming in here, like Matt Bush, Ta uh, uh, Taylor Rogers, um, hopefully Trevor Rosenthal coming back here soon. So we feel really good about our, our bullpen group as a whole. Uh, and now, listen, you had a bad eighth inning the other day in St. Louis. Give me a little rundown on that four run. That would have been a big win there, Matt. You know that. Would have won that series. And uh, I know Pujols hit the homers, but that was a big eighth inning. Give me some thoughts on that for a sec. Let me hear. Go ahead. No question. No, no question. Yeah, th those are those are tough ones for us. And, and, and we've been through a, a lot of battles with these guys and, and a credit to the Cardinals for coming through in a, in a big situation. Right. And the night before, look, we get a We get a huge homer by Luis Urias to come through as well on our end. So we know it's going to be a dogfight with those guys. We know they're extremely talented. And, and look, we get more opportunities to play them the rest of the way. So the ball's in our court. And we just have to execute. Only four left with them, though, which is interesting. You got a harder schedule, too, Matt. I mean, I got a tricky little schedule. Dodgers here. You got to still go to L.A., Phillies, the Mets. Uh, if the Brewers get in, you got two avenues. But if the Brewers get in, you're going to work hard for it. I know you never know with these schedules, but you do play good teams the month of September. Thoughts on that for a sec. Go ahead. Yeah, you're exactly right, Chris, and I, and I think we're, we're ready for that. I think every team has to go through a tough part of their schedule, and, and, and this is certainly one of those parts. And, you know, look, when we get we get to September, we have a lot of games at home that we're excited about. We have a great we have a great fan base here. We have a, a, a wonderful place to play here. It's a great day today. Uh, we, have, we have tremendous energy in this ballpark, and having a lot of home games for us is, in September, we feel like is a really good thing. All right. Uh, you feel decent about your pitching? You know, Peralta, Lauer, obviously the two big guys, top of the rotation. Will you score enough, Matt, offensively here in the last 40 games? How about hitting all cylinders with the bats? Give me some thoughts there. Yeah, we, we've seen guys make a lot of adjustments here lately. We've seen Christian Yelich move to the top of the lineup and be a dynamic run producer at the top. And uh, guys like Hunter Renfro uh, have come up in huge spots, like I said earlier. Luis Urias has been tremendous. Um, you, you know, I think Willie Adamas is one of the top home run hitters in the, in the National League at, at shortstop. And so we feel like they, we have the offensive ingredients to be good. That being said, we also know we're, we're a, a team built around pitching and defense, right? And so we've seen that even in great plays last night with the, the double play we saw up the middle with, with uh, Wong and, and Adamas. And so uh, that's, that's, our, that's our brand of baseball, and, and we feel good about that helping us here into September and, and October as well. Yeah, tremendous defensive double, header, uh, double play there. I mean, listen, the Dodgers, Gonsolin, everything else, they've been tremendous, tough series. But you're 100% right about that. Your shortstop does have uh, in the 20s as far as the home runs are concerned. And Renfro's had a heck of a year. Good pickup. He had a good year last year with the Red Sox. He's got the 20 homers this year. you got to be happy with him out in the outfield. Thoughts there for a sec. Yeah, he's he's been outstanding, as good as you could possibly hope for, and and, and not just on the offensive the side of the ball. This guy's one of the best defensive outfielders there is as well. Um, maybe the best arm in right field in baseball, and 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 good range out there, and so just a, a great overall player, and uh, we're thrilled to have him this year. 
You know, it's interesting, you know, you were much talked about in the offseason in the last couple here of moving on and, you know, really being the boss, uh, you know, sort of having a David Stearns role, and you opted in. You stayed there. You wanted to be with this franchise and Stearns and you sort of together, but you could have run your own house somewhere else, Matt. You decided to stay in Milwaukee. Thoughts on that for a second? Oh, shoot. I mean, I uh, it's certainly flattering to be considered for, for any kind of opportunity, right? It's certainly humbling. I've been in this game for over 20 years, and uh, I'm just thrilled to be a part of something special here. I, I think we have a great group of people here in Milwaukee. Starts with Mark Atanasio, David Stearns. We just have a wonderful group, wonderful group here, uh, and I'm thrilled to be a part of it. Well, good luck. Like to see the Brewers get in and always thumb with that pitching staff. Uh, you know, you got a good chance on both ends. Play well. Thanks for a few minutes, Matt. Appreciate you coming on here today. Thank you, Chris. Appreciate you having me.